Cheers to drinking wine on camera because this video is going to be demonetized for the audio so I can do whatever I want. Including also wearing this shirt that has a cartoon Miley Cyrus with her boobs out. It says, Miley Cyrus made me realize I am gay and I've been wanting to wear this shirt in a video for a long time. But I never did a video about Miley. So now here we are. Miley Cyrus made me realize I was gay and she probably did. I started loving Miley when I was like 7, 8. And look at where that got us. Look at where I am now. A lesbian. Okay, everyone, the time has come. We are listening to Endless Summer Vacation today. This is the first time I've done a video exclusively revolving around Miley on my channel, which is just such a crime because I'm literally the biggest Miley girl. It's crazy because my brand is being the One Direction girl, of course, and I will die on that hill, but I'm also the biggest Miley girl. If it wasn't One Direction, it would be Miley. I think I have more Miley Cyrus merch in my closet right now than I do all the members of One Direction. If you count Hannah Montana shirts, cause I have, I'm not kidding, like four Hannah Montana shirts specifically, and then a few other pieces of merch that are Miley, but I have both. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is I'm just really excited to be reacting to her new album on this channel. Grew up with Miley's music. She's been such a stable constant for me in my life and I love her so much. My favorite Miley album is definitely Plastic Hearts, not to be like everybody else, but definitely her best album, no arguments there. But since Plastic Hearts was so good and so experimental, I just cannot wait to see the lane that she took with Endless Summer Vacation because I don't know anything about this album other than Flowers, the single, of course. Um, and that was a very self-lovey, upbeat, poppy kind of thing. So I have no idea how the rest of the album is going to sound, but I know I'm going to love it. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. She has evolved so much as an artist, and I just have no doubt that this album is going to be amazing. Love that the first song of the album is something we already know, so we can just skip straight to the second track called Jaded. This one's explicit. <sighs> Is this gonna be like slow and mellow? It sounds so Miley, like classic Miley. God, her voice, like, even when she's singing something that's not, like, super rock and roll, she still has that rough, rocky edge to her voice that makes her pop music so different than anyone else's. Ugh! Literally obsessed. Jade! Okay, okay. I'm already obsessed. Bye. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Harmonizing with herself. What can't she do? Nope. We went to hell, but we never came back! Sorry, my mouth is just gonna be hanging open this whole time. breakup album but with flowers it's like breakup self-love you know what I mean like oh oh five stars 10 out of 10 I always do this thing when I'm listening to albums for the first time where if it really resonated with me and I really liked it I give it a like on Spotify so that I can go back after my first listen and see all my initial favorites and like be able to listen to them again. And Jaded is already getting a like because girl, that was so good. The concept of her saying like, we went to hell but never came back is crazy. If you've been in a relationship like that, then you know, and I know. Me being like, that might be my favorite on the album. Girl, you've heard one song. So good, perfect combination of like the rocky edgy vocals with like a poppy sounding song, but also some super like smooth mellowed out. It was just a great combination. I loved it. The next song is called Rose Colored Lenses. Are you girls ready? Cause I'm not. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. Oh. I love a beat. Mmm. Oh, it's summer. doubling over in pain right now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Ah! This album is very summery. I say after one and a half tracks. Both of the songs that I've heard so far are just so catchy, like... Is it over? No, it's not. No, it's not. I love that lyric. Falling stupid like we're kids! Y'all hear that guitar shredding in the background? Oh my god. Oh, that harmony. Oh, that harmony! <laughs> what an album, I say after two tracks. I'm so impressed. I had no idea what the genre of this album was gonna be because her last few albums have been sonically so fucking different. Like, it's like... You literally know it's like she's flipping a coin and you just never know what she's gonna pull out but this one feels like a good mix of like classic Miley with a little bit of plastic hearts so it's like her evolving into something new overall ooh mm, so good the next song is called thousand miles featuring Brandy Carlisle every time I think it's gonna be a slow song I want to have a heart attack and throw up all over the floor because I don't know if I can handle that from her Oh, love that. Me too, girl. Crazy girls, stand up. These songs are so reflective. That first verse was giving country a little bit. Like, not entirely, but like a little bit of country pop. It's the instrumental. Girl, I need a cigarette. I don't even smoke and I need a cigarette. I love the vibe of this song. I'm telling you, this album feels so summertime, so far. The production of this one is also really interesting. Oh my gosh. I know it's Miley's album, literally, but that literally feels so Miley. So like 2017, 2018 Miley. The beginning was giving like touches of country. The production is really interesting. I love the blend of different sounds on this album so far. Like I said, it has that rocky edge, but also that poppy edge, and now it's giving us a little folky edge. Love a big blend, that's literally my favorite thing. But I love a big blend when it's cohesive. I don't like an album that's just like a mess, but when it's a blend of stuff and they still keep it within like their thing, that's really cool. The next song is called You. Oh? That sounded like Girl Crash for a second. Ooh, this sounds so raw. Oh.
Not this being lovey-dovey. I might kill myself. Oh my god! Her voice on this song! This sounds like it goes on bangers. Not to keep saying that it sounds like other albums, but like... Oh... I don't need Jesus because baby you saved me. Okay, Miley, like this has me on the edge of my seat. Like this song is crazy. Oh my god, her voice. I feel like I need a few business days to process this. Oh my god, that was so her. That was so perfect for her. Like, you're kidding her boys? The pacing of it, the beat, like... That one might have to get a light. That was so good. That was literally so well suited for her. Okay, the next song is called Handstand. And it's explicit. Ooh. Oh? So summertime. Take a shot. I said it again. I'm floored right now. Sorry, all I can do is stare. <laughs> This is an experience. What can I say? What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this at all. I don't think anybody was. I feel like I'm on acid right now. speechless i'm very curious how the public is gonna react to this song that was so different it sounded like i was listening to a completely different album i like the chorus a lot like the dun -dun 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 -dun. so great but overall that was crazy <laughs> oh my god i feel like i was entering an alt dimension miley what is going on handstand girl you might always be famous okay the next song is called river why do i feel like river is gonna be like slow and heart-wrenching i might be wrong but the name River, I don't know. Oh, I was wrong. Why does this sound so 70s? It's giving just like the white window. And Miley already has a sound that sounds like that on Plastic Hearts, but this is so 70s. Uh. This might have to get a like, y'all.
Silence. Silence. What more can I... That one was really good. I think I'm gonna like that one. I really, really like that one. It was so like, ah! I don't know. Okay, next up is Violet Chemistry. The production on all of these is so crazy. When the goes away, and the lights come on, don't it's like a jump scare every time. It's so poppy. I love the cor not the courses, the verses. No, I really like this one. It's getting a like, no doubt about it. Yeah, that one definitely got a like. Violet Chemistry, you are so good. This album, I don't know what I was expecting it to be because I didn't know much about it, but it is so much more poppy than I expected. Next song is Muddy Feet, featuring Sia, which is really interesting, I wasn't expecting that. Sia? We'll see, we'll see. Oh! Killing it with being catchy on this album. Will I be burned at the stake if I say I might like this one? Like, give it a like? I feel like I really like this one. <laughs> no, Miley is a Taylor Swift now featuring artists on her songs, but they just have backing vocals. Like, okay, featuring Sia, not really. Were you silent or were you silent? That one was so good. It was really short, but I liked it. I feel like that's gonna be controversial. Like some people are gonna be like, what the fuck was that? But some people are gonna be like, wait. And I'm one of the people who's like, wait. I love how she's using a good mix of like beats, but then that rough like rock and roll voice that she has, it just creates something so unique. I feel like I've said that a million times in this video. There's nothing like it. It's just so unique to Miley to mix those two different things. Okay, next is called Wild Card. Oh my god. Wow! Oh my- Her voice! Oh, her voice is just so fucking crazy. I will never get over it.
that has to get a like. Oh my god, no, it's so different from the other ones, but it's so good! She has so much range, it's crazy! I'm overwhelmed right now. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I think the wine is settling in. I'm getting a little bit hot. I'm getting a little bit excited. Miley, I love you. I just love her. She's so good. She's just so good. I can't wait to go on Twitter and see what people are saying about these songs. I only have two left. Very upsetting to me. But the next one is Island. It does sound like an island. Oh. So summertime. Take another shot. This is my favorite part. I might like this one too, guys. Like on Spotify. I don't know. This song is so simple, but it's so catchy. Like very easy to consume and listen to. But it's just like so like eh. <laughs> That was so catchy. R like ridiculous. Oh my god. But you hear me when I say that like all the songs sound so different. None of these songs are anything like each other. You just put a big mix of things. And I think that's really cool. But that brings us to the very last song of this album. I'm having a great time. I don't want this to end. I love listening to albums for the first time. But the last song is called Wonder Woman. Am I finally gonna get the ballad I've been waiting for? Oh, girl. Oh, no. And if I have a fucking breakdown right now. Oh my god. She wants to be the one that never dies. You're gonna have to scrape my lifeless body off the floor right now. Now that I think about it, this could also be a song about someone's mom. And that makes me want to fucking die. Silence. I have nothing. Like crickets. Are you kidding me? No, I started thinking about my mom and I started thinking about myself and it that was, if I wasn't on meds, I would be crying my eyes out right now. Trust, trust. And where's the, it's a Jasmine's Eight album reaction. Where's the tears? I'm medicated, okay? It's a little bit hard to show emotions. But damn, wow, that was so beautiful. Oh my God, I love last songs on albums that are like gut-wrenching. That's my favorite thing an artist could ever do. I love it when they put like a big swelling, emotional, mellow, like heart-wrenching ass ballad as the last track in the album. Like that's the best possible thing you could do. Love it so much. 10 out of 10. Um, oh my god, I can't believe I just listened to the full album. I definitely think just after one listen, bear in mind I've only listened once, I think Jaded is the best song in this album, like straight off the bat. It's not the opening song, but it's right at the beginning and it's like the best song hands down. I think that's my favorite as of right now. Don't know if that'll ever change. I definitely have to spend more time with the album, but Jaded 
just jumps out at me the most. So good. This album is so crazy. It's definitely very summertime. It's so upbeat. It's so poppy. There's a little bit of folky, a little bit of hip hop in there too. And it's a little bit rocky. Like it's a little bit edgy. So she just threw so many things into there. And I think she created something truly so unique so good i'm so happy with this album i love the tracks the tracks that i ended up liking are jaded river violet chemistry muddy feet and wild card and i'm also gonna like wonder woman but those are like the best songs on the album i think i'm so overwhelmed i just i feel so much love for her she just it just feels like listening to this she's in such a different place than she was when she wrote albums like bangers and you can really see that progression not just in the music that she's making but in the lyricism and the things that she's putting in her music about herself and about her life oh my god this woman but i'm so proud of her i'm so happy for her and i can't wait to go and read the public reaction to this album thank you guys for watching my album reaction please let me know in the comments your favorite tracks on endless summer vacation unless you haven't listened to it then go fucking listen to it make sure to check down in the description for a form that i have where you guys can fill out video requests for me I'm doing a little bit of a channel rebrand right now and i have lots and lots of video ideas but i could always use more you can also follow me on all my social medias down there as well I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing, drinking all the water, thriving, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.